You're watching my favorite YouTube channel, first name chill, last name monger. It is my favorite YouTube channel because sometimes I do great things. I am a great man. Over the last three, maybe longer than that, weeks, I decided, you know, when that sentencing comes out for Jonathan Majors, I'm going to do a whole video starting from all the way when he was arrested and they were talking about how he was strangled and all those news stories all the way to the end. I thought, how do I do this? Hmm, what about a compilation styled video where I highlighted the whole entire thing according to us on YouTube, YouTubers only. If there was like a company, let's say Jimmy Fallon, he's got a YouTube channel, they wouldn't have counted. It had to be people sitting down with microphones, you know, and people doing their video edits, reading the articles, giving their interpretations at the time that they gave them. Now, there's people who covered the story seven times, eight times, every time there was an update, like Tyrone Magnus. I didn't know which one to use. I chose the one I chose. For him. He was talking about how she fled the country. He also was talking about how you know, if someone was battered and she would be running, you guys, it's crazy. You wouldn't understand. The police could be at the door and, she, and they could be saving her, but they'd still be protecting her man. I remember he gave like a video like that. I didn't use that one. I deselected. I had a jury deselection of my own. Black men with MBAs were not allowed to be part of this. Um, no, that's not true. Uh, there was an attorney. What's his name? Jamal Kersey, who was part of that. Probably has an MBA. He does. He does. Um... I did a whole video now. I love it. I thought it was great. And it was it took so many hours to decide what made the cut. So much that I can't stop talking about it. And we need to cover this story. Because because the way that information was poured out really affected uh his public perception. It's it sucks. It's really unfortunate that if a guy just works at the local gym, he's like the fitness trainer and he gets one of these things he still goes to work everything's fine when i'm dude is in hollywood the whole freaking 11 month process for all the way to sent well maybe not 11 months he got verdicted he got sentenced what's the word i'm looking for he got the verdict in december seven months maybe no nine in nine months his name had to be drug and he had this cloud over his name According to a couple of studios, right? And, you know, Hollywood is only, what, five studios usually? They cared. And it sucks that he, his job took a blow. Back to my point, though, about the YouTubers and about the story, how it took place. I hated some of the takes that I involved in that video. You guys know what I thought about John Roca's take. Incredibly stupid. He was talking more about, well, Jonathan didn't have all of his exes show up, right? They were supposed to talk but they weren't allowed to talk about it in the courtroom brother Ugh, brother Ugh. john roca sir from the christian harloff youtube channel whose part played like an hour and a half into my video he's not in court for the history of his life and in and, and possible alleged interactions he's had with women he's on court for what happened on march 25 and to think that low of him or to lie and be like well, you know, when the PR team dropped him, they're in Hollywood and they've got connections. So they knew things. What did they know? What did they know? Did they see the video and said, oh, shit, he did it? Because to see that video and say he did it, you have to be pretty stupid. To think that Jonathan Majors did it, this is what you have to believe. We're at this point now. All the evidence is out. All the evidence that they tried to get him on. You have to believe. Let's start with what you have to ignore. Ignore her testimony. She tried to grab his phone. She hit him. After a text message, ignore that she started everything and ignore the penal law that allows you to use reasonable force to retrieve your objects. Ignore what ignore self-defense in general. Ignore the driver's testimony. She was doing everything. He was doing nothing. Ignore that. He didn't even say that shit in English. Ignore that the, the, the district attorney had that man come and they said, ah, and, and the judge said, hey, sir, can we, let, let's ask you a trivia question. What is the definition of objection? Ignore that happened with him, but it never happened with any other person who took the stand. Ignore that he was offended that they had to use an Urdu translator and they had said, come back next week. And it took a whole weekend until we can get that guy. Having the members of the jury scroll their internet feeds and read all of this Rolling Stone nonsense. Ignore all of that, okay? Ignore the driver who said he was trying to get rid of her. They said, objection, you can't give your opinion. He said, no, he was trying to get rid of her. Then they tried to ask the driver, "What you were looking straight, weren't you? As if rearview mir mirrors don't exist. As if he said from the sounds produced, she was the one attacking him. Ignore his take on this and ignore her testimony. 
only consider that moment where you saw him put his hands touching her. Consider that to be assault. Ignore that right afterwards. Every time he pushed her into that car, which was like three times in a row, her head popped back up in the video. Ignore that. Why would you pay attention to someone who's uh, tracking this man? As soon as that's, he stops that, it's ineffective. He's, she's not staying in the car. She comes after him and she's still pursuing him, chasing him, following him and chasing him and running after him. Ignore that stuff. Ignore that the video of her running after him was, um, I'll take care of that later. Who am I talking to? I can take that out later. Ignore that the video was slowed down. The guy in charge, uh, the dude in the district attorney, the digital analyst, right? Strife. My boy showed the video of her running. But slowed it down. Go watch it again. Just to sh like show how slowly she was moving. Minimalizing the speed in which she was trying to pursue this man. That's what, she, that's what he did. That, that exists. That's out there. It's in the video. Ignore the judge saying, okay, now she's going to take, Grace is going to take the stand. All right, talk Grace. Yeah. Stephanie, Duchess Stephanie McMahon Helmsley III, was going to take the stand. And she's going to tell you what really happened. Ignore that. That's what the jury heard. Ignore that. Why would you pay attention to that? And look at the transcripts of what she said. What? Ignore that. You have to believe that the injuries she says that she has, which we saw photos of at 11 o'clock in the morning. We saw how big the scratch was. We saw the one finger that was injured. Ignore the testimony of the expert that says that not, if it what happened, happened, it wouldn't just be one finger. It would be the whole, all of them. Ignore that expert testimony. You have to. Then you have to ignore what you saw for three hours of video after the incident inside the car. You have to ignore that she hugged on that girl, Chloe, who also has blonde hair, and none of the blood that's supposed to be there from the laceration rubbed off on Chloe's blonde hair. Ignore that her finger was fine because she was at the club. Ignore that we saw four minutes of video of her talking on the sidewalk and never once complaining, you know, he hurt me. And just she's saying, you know, this guy cheated on me, man. Ignore that her finger is fine. Touching phone, using it on the handrail up. When she gets on the elevator, she clicks on the elevator button with the supposedly damaged fingers. Supposedly. Ignore that she's rummaging through her bag with, and she was choosing the right hand to do it, which is supposed to be injured. We do see an injury at 11 o'clock. We just don't see it. Ignore that she's drunk and she was found in the, <laughs> the, the closet. Closet. Ignore that. Why would you pay attention to the truth? What? Facts? Huh? Not even wearing bottoms. He found her uh, without bottoms. He found her thinking that she was like, okay, this is it. I got to take care of it. After he broke up with her. Ignore that this was a, as a tactic to get him to call 911 to screw him over. You, you dare break up with me? I'm going to play. Andy's coming. Ignore. Why? why? Jonathan, I'm going to ignore that stupid that jay is not for jonathan you have to ignore a lot of facts including that she was sending text messages to somebody in england and she was sending these text messages just 11 minutes before uh jonathan did the whole 911 call ignore that she couldn't hear the knocking on the door locking herself in there ignore that all of it jonathan did it facts i did a whole video covering it it was a compilation style loved it Loved working on it. Loved laughing <laughs> at a lot of moments. You guys know the ones, man. Towards the ending, uh, the first half of it is actually like... No, no, the first quarter of it is just... What? 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 You know? Variety said this. Multiple alleged victims. Where were they? <laughs> the beginning of it, it. It plays out just the way it played out in real life. The YouTubers just all gave their takes on it. I loved it. Uh, b b b the jury was deselected and that's a problem like Pamela tells me if you guys ever get that in the mail show up for jury duty yeah go it needs to be a collection of peers who is the justice system hurt the most indiscriminately <laughs> and rather I should say discriminately I should say and then why are you not playing a part in it because it would be too too much work no matter what the problem is, right? You might be there for a case where someone's dog peed on flowers and that's what you're trying to resolve. Or you may be there for something more seriously. 
I don't think there needs to be underrepresentation in that. There should be overrepresentation if you're paying attention. I think show up for jury duty. The mentioned video has now shown up. Here it is, man. Everyone is part of it, like over 20. All here. Thumbs up this video. Thumbs up that video as soon as you click on that because I don't ask you to do that. I don't ask enough. Please like these.